We now know the names of three firefighters who died this week in Washington state. Tom Bischewski, Andrew Zajak, and Richard Wheeler were all members of the same crew. Officials say they died Wednesday after the massive and fast-moving wildfire they were fighting suddenly changed direction. They tried to escape, but their vehicle crashed and was overrun by the flames. That fire is just one of more than 100 exploding across the western U.S. Over a million acres have burned. Firefighters are looking or for help anywhere that they can get it, even calling up volunteers. Lisa Bernard is in Grant Grove, California with more. Lisa. John, here in popular Sequoia National Park, we saw determined firefighters on the line today, not hesitating to help. And now word that help is coming from halfway around the world. Fire crews from Australia and New Zealand are coming to the western U.S. to help fight the largest fires out here. The fire in Washington state that killed three firefighters and injured four others in Twisp, Washington, has exploded in size, burning more than 100 square miles in one day with little relief in sight. We should have more rate of spread and more acreage burned than we did yesterday and uh, we're expecting wind in the afternoon. It's going to come in through the fire area at uh, approximately 35 to 45 miles an hour steady for most of the afternoon. Thousands of residents are being forced to evacuate and fire officials in the state are taking the unprecedented step of calling for volunteers to join in the effort. This is uh, an unprecedented cataclysm in our state. There are 390,000 acres burning. President Obama has signed a declaration of emergency for Washington state, allowing FEMA to take over coordinating relief efforts in 11 counties and several Native American communities affected by the fires. Officials say the situation is so fluid, it's hard to even track exactly how many homes have been destroyed. More fires are racing through bone dry states across the West. Evacuations have been ordered in Idaho. New blazes are threatening dozens of homes in Oregon and in Montana. Flames are approaching a town near Glacier National Park. In California, more than 12,000 firefighters are battling 17 wildfires across the state. And one is bearing down on one of the nation's treasures, Sequoia National Park. Even though the fire has mostly been put out here in this location, crews repeatedly come back again and go back over their work to prevent flare-ups. A lightning strike that set this forest ablaze has been burning out of control for weeks, torching 39,000 acres, devouring much of the landscape. 1,600 firefighters are battling this fire. It's still only 3% contained. At the visitor center of Sequoia National Park, tourists aren't sure what to do with the smoky view and the burning eyes. This couple is here to celebrate. They met right here half a century ago, and they won't let the fire ruin their visit. The air is not very pleasant to breathe, but it, that doesn't mean we turn around and go to Connecticut. Why would we do that? It's our 50th anniversary. Many visitors enjoy this park and the Sierra National Forest every year. One woman who was hiking this morning has been reported missing. This 62-year-old was separated from her group, and now search crews are looking for her. The Fresno County Sheriff's Department tells us she is not expected to be near the flames, but the thick smoke from these fires is making it hard for the search crews to locate her. John? All right, Lisa, thank you.